Hi all, welcome back. In this video, I am going to create a repository using NX. So NX is a powerful open source build system provides tools and techniques for enhancing developer productivity, optimizing CA performance and maintaining code quality. Using NX, we can arrange the structure of a repository in different ways. The one is standalone application. With that one, we can create a repository with a single application. So either React, Angular, Node, whatever it is. Second one is package based repository. So in the same repository, we can create multiple projects which depends on each other, but it will have a root package or JSON and as well as the different projects have a different package or JSON as well. So while migrating an existing project into a package based repository will be easy. When it comes to integrated repository, it will have a multiple projects. You can add front end, back end projects, whatever it is, but it will have a single version policy. That means it will only have a one package or JSON at the root level. So when you're creating a project, you can choose which options required for your project. Let's create a project using NX. For that, wherever you want to create a project, go to that folder and give the command npx create nx workspace at latest the first question is the workspace name so my project name is to do and i'm going to create a first react project inside my to do folder so you can select the framework so first i am using or none option because i only want the react and the react dom so it will choose for integrated or standalone i am going ahead with the integrated mono repo because i want to create another folder after some time so application name first i am going ahead with the ui so i am choosing wheat i am not choosing any end to end test for now and instead of style components i am choosing css here if you want you can go ahead with any of these options so if you want, if you are interested, you can also configure the NX cloud for GitHub Actions. Everything is coming along with this NX. After selecting these many options, it will take some time to install all the dependencies. The folder is created you can see in inside the to do this is our project name and inside you can see apps under apps ui folder is created with all the react setup next is we are going to create a backend repository for that in the nx website if you go to the plugin section you will be able to search node so i'm selecting node from here and first i'm going to add at nx slash node before adding that you can verify whether in your package or JSON anything related to node is available. So you can see there is no nx slash node. So you can add this command in the terminal. So before adding the command, make sure you are inside the to do folder. So I'm navigating to the to do folder. I'm giving the command nx add at nx slash node. It will install the package inside the package or JSON. Now you can see this package is added in the package.json and it is installed inside the node modules. Once that is done, our next command is you have to generate a node application and you have to give the name as well. So nx, so if you didn't install the nx globally, you can give npx space nx g then the node application and you can give the name. So I'm giving as a backend. And you can choose which options, which framework we want to use. I'm going to use Express instead of Nest. Based on your choice, you can change it. So here I'm giving derived option.
the backend setup is done. In order to see the folder structure, you can see inside the apps, the backend and backend end to end test is created and the UI folder is there. So, this is a mono repo with the front end and the backend application installed. Next is if you want to use any library, what you can do? For example, if you want to use a node library, you can simply create a new library using nxg lib. Then you can give the name of the library. Now I am going to create a library using a JavaScript. For that, you can search JS. Inside that, you can see nxjs and you have to add. Before adding this command, make sure in your package.json it is not there. Now you can see it is already there. So I can skip this step. The next step is you can add nxg and using this nxjs library you can add a new library if you want to add the preset with the typescript option you can add that as well so i'm just copying this command inside from inside our to-do application if your system doesn't install the nx you can give npx nx and you can give my lib or whatever the name you suggest then the preset equal to ts. So you can choose the option. Now I am not choosing anything. So none. Then TSE I am giving. Okay. So the library is also created. So when you come to the folder structure, the library is created inside the uh, to do. There is a my lib option. So this is how front end back end or lib is getting added to an nx mono repo so how we will run this applications in the root of the folder to do what you can give you just give the command nx so or you can give npx nx if nx is not globally installed then you can give which is the target okay so if you want to do the serve you can give serve or if you want to give the build you can give build test whatever it is so i'm giving a serve then you can give the project name so our first project name is ui right so i'm just going to serve the ui as i mentioned earlier if nx is globally installed in your machine you can skip npx it is opening localhost 4200 now you can see our application is up the similar way you can also run npx nx serve your backend project as well so in order to run the library you will get the command from here the nx test lib nx lin lib whatever it you can add those commands like this next if you want to run the lint of all the application you can give the command npx nx then run mini minus t then you can give the command name I am checking the lint. So now you can see for all my applications, the lint is passed.